So we'll now look at implementing basic notifications with Suite Alert. And then in the next video, we'll move on to look at Notify's additional options, which allow us to customize these uh, in any way we want. So first of all, let's just return back to our route and see what we're doing. So we have this message, which we know how to get. And we have this type, which we know how to get. I'm going to change this back to success. And I'm going to say, you have signed in. So over on our welcome page, then we're not writing markup here. What we're doing is we are writing some JavaScript. So in this case, we can use the SWAL method. And in here, we can pass things like a title. So great job. We can pass in a type. So for example, success and a host of other different things. But we'll keep this uh, as it is for now. So here you can see that we get the following. Great job. OK, perfect. So it's exactly the same concept. All we want to do is say if notify ready. We obviously end our if statement here. Then in here, all we want to do is in double quotes, I suppose, say notify message in here notify type. So now we can see that when we head over to notify, we get you have signed in. So it's really that easy to implement. You might find that sometimes if you have you have signed in, um, or we could say you are now signed in, you may have a character like this in there. And if we have a look here, we can see that we get this here. So you may want to, within Laravel, if you know that you are always sending your own data, just go ahead and don't escape the type message. I suppose the type doesn't really matter too much, but that will go ahead and solve that problem for you if you're having it. So you can see that this makes uh, all the difference. So that's how we basically implement Suite Alert. But in the next video, we're going to look at passing additional options into Notify to allow us to customize our Suite Alert messages.